What's up, Beanie? Not much. Oh, well, I think I am going to buy that pub round the corner. Oh, how exciting. When will you buy it? I'm not sure, but I'm meeting with him next week. Wowzers. Bloody hell, who is this coming in? Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Lex. How are you? Not bad, just been at the roof on top of the shed. Slipped over and fell on my freaking ass, didn't I? Oh, that was silly. Anyway. Zebs, how about calling the pub Café de Revs? What does that mean? It's French for Café of Dreams. I met my ex-husband at a café. Anyway. We could make it a café slash pub. What are you guys on about? We're going to run a pub. Oh, cool. How on earth do you plan on getting the money for this? My mate is selling one. Yeah, right how much? Running a pub is no small feat. The first step is securing a location and obtaining the necessary licenses and permits. Then comes the fun and challenging part, hiring a team and curating a menu featuring drinks, pub fare and any additional offerings. Marketing and promotion will be necessary to draw in regulars and create a reputation in the community. Managing finances, inventory and daily operations are also key responsibilities. Successful pub owners prioritize customer service and creating a welcoming atmosphere while also adhering to industry standards and regulations. With determination and effort we have the ability to accomplish the task at hand guys. This is doable. I'm just not sure what to name the pub. I just said, Café de Revs. Ah. Ah. It is important to design and furnish the pub to create a welcoming and comfortable atmosphere for customers. Finally, hiring a competent and experienced staff, creating a menu, and establishing promotional strategies will help to make the pub successful. Bullshit! Drinks are an important aspect of dining and can complement a meal perfectly. There are numerous options available when it comes to drinks including soft drinks, juices, mocktails, cocktails, beers, wines and spirits. The choice of drink will depend on the type of meal being served and personal preferences. Non-alcoholic drinks are an excellent option for those who prefer sober dining experience or have dietary restrictions. In contrast, alcoholic beverages can add to the celebratory mood of an occasion. Also beverages like coffee and tea are perfect to round off a meal. Fuck's sake, shut up, Mr. Bainey. Absolutely, I should. However, the right music can really enhance the experience of enjoying a drink. Whether it's a lively cocktail party or a relaxing evening at home with a glass of wine, music sets the mood and creates the atmosphere. Up beaches can get the party started, while mellow melodies can help you unwind and enjoy your drink in peace. Don't underestimate the power of a good playlist, it's the perfect complement to your favorite beverages. What the shit, but how much will we charge for drinks? I think sales price for drinks may depend on a range of factors like brand, quality, location, competition and demand, I suppose. Let's do this. Are you mad? How on earth are you gonna do this? We could set up a car wash. What about selling all our stuff on eBay? We could sell some puff. Oh gosh. Maybe legs. Anyway. Although I must say, alcohol is a legal and widely used psychoactive drug that can have various effects on the body and mind. It is commonly found in beverages such as beer, wine and spirits, and is consumed for recreational and social purposes. However, excessive or long-term use of alcohol can lead to serious health problems including liver damage, addiction, and increased risk of certain cancers. In many cultures, alcohol is also a factor in social and familial issues, including domestic violence, absenteeism from work or school, and impaired driving. It is important to consume alcohol responsibly and in moderation. Let's not buy a pub. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Unless I can help you, maybe. Oh, how can you help? I have the accessory skills to open and run your pub deck with me and efficiently. I also have a friend that can work behind the bar. Sounds great. However, we still will need the cash. How about we sell some stuff in the loft? I have a gaming chair up there, but you're not touching it. How about that old time machine you bought, Beanie? Right, that's it then. That is worth the money we need. Okay, let's go and check its condition. Right. Let's try not to slip on the roof this time. <laughs> <laughs>